were down, we fought back, we, we stepped up. Uh, probably most proud of the fact that despite having multiple starters injured prior to the game and then a couple more guys go down during the game, young guys stepped up and made plays when it counted. There's no question. I mean, and you started all in the first half where you really took the sails out of the wind of Cornell and their offense. They've been controlling clock every game this year. In the first half, I thought you guys did a great job of getting off the field when you needed to. Yeah, in the end, this game was won on both sides of the ball in the trenches. You know, the, the ability for us to have an effective run game on offense starts with our offensive line. They did a phenomenal job. And our defensive line gets a great deal of credit, be able to, to shut them down, uh, you know, take a team that traditionally is never, you know, uh, a team other than they always keep you guessing. And, and we turn them to a pretty much one-dimensional uh, threat through the air only. And, and uh, that that's a result of just uh, the, the fact of the physical dominance that we had up front. And you mentioned that dominance. Coleman Bennett, so patient running the ball. Yeah, he, he did an incredible job of, of hanging there at a couple times, two patients, uh, but really was a phenomenal player for us today. Got explosive run after explosive run uh, and was really able to shoulder the load, uh, you know, with uh, uh, Rashawn Baker still not quite 100% coming back from his ankle. And you talk about guys stepping up. Okay, Rucker goes down with the ankle again, and Semptonfelter, one of your captains, comes off the bench and stays composed and gets a big touchdown pass. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable drive there to, to, to put us up by eight and, and a great throw by Nick, really two great throws by Nick on that drive uh, and, a, and a critical third down scramble uh, to get us a first down uh, as well. So he, he's a veteran. No one's surprised by by that. That's you know he's, he's played a lot of football. He's been in these tough situations before. He helped us beat Cornell the last time. Uh, they came down to our place two years ago. And, and uh, you know, I don't think there's a single player on our on our football team that's surprised that he was able to show up in the clutch and, and, and make the plays needed to win the football game. I want to get you into the locker room so you can talk to your players, but moving back into the Patriot League, we got that brown and white school coming in next week, Lehigh. Yeah, absolutely, and it's great. It's going to be great coming off of a win here and, and a lot of positive things uh, to build off of and also some things that we need to continue to work on. All right, Coach, well, good luck and congratulations. Big win. Thank you guys you. needed it. It was a battle today, but you came out on top. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was good to get the win. You know, we definitely really wanted this one, so it was good to come out here and get the win. Talk about your offensive line and what they did to help you get, I think it was 157 yards rushing today. Man, I, I love them boys out front, man. I definitely got to go get something for them, some donuts or some pancakes or something. They definitely did their thing today. You know, I just trust them boys out front, just trust them to get pushed every time, be patient, and just couple plays like Casey looked back at me he's like yo follow me I got you I got you bro so just big things go out to all, uh, the O-line it wouldn't be possible without them for real. So the offensive line doing that but you just mentioned the word I think that's been key with the way you've been playing this year patience I don't frankly I don't know how you're that patient back there and you <laughs> wait for those holes but what is it you're looking for once you get the football? Uh, you know I'm just uh, making my reads you know just listen to my running back coach, Coach Johnson, just making a read he told me to make and then um, just being patient, you know, allowing the line to work them double teams, get up to the linebackers, you know, just giving them some time to do what they do. And they give me the time to be patient. So it really helps uh, my game, how I like to play the game. So they just let me be patient, let me do what I do. And I just follow them once they get up to the linebackers. One of the things that happened in today's game was you had a lot of guys step up. We had some injuries prior to the game uh, last week that kept some guys out. Some guys went down in the game. Talk about your co-captain, Nick Semptonfelter, coming in in a tough spot and getting a touchdown pass for you guys. Uh, yeah, that was definitely clutch. And, you know, I, I know, like, Nick, Nick's done that plenty of times before here at Bucknell, so it was nothing new to him. Just really come in, he knew he was ready to step up and step up to the plate and do what he got to do. You know, that's my roommate as well. So, like, big shout-out to Nick. Um, he got that next man up mentality at all times. So when his name was called, he answered, and he answered to the best of his ability as we saw today. So, so Non-conference is over until the last game of the year. Next week, you turn it back to the league, and you got Lehigh coming into town. What do you look for from the Mountain Hawks? I mean, I'm just looking to get the dub, honestly, man. Just winning, like, it's a feeling like no other, man. So non-conference, uh, conference games, it don't matter. We just want to get a win. Obviously, when we got conference games, it's a little more chip on our shoulder. So um, we just want to go in there and, you know, beat Lehigh. We beat them last week. We want to get a dub again. Well, congratulations. Great job today. You've been playing excellent football. The team played well. Good job, good luck next week against Lehigh. Thank you, thank you. So this guy was in the backfield wreaking havoc all day long. Your defense did a great job of slowing down a Cornell offense that really has controlled time of possession in every game this year. Mm -hmm. Not today so much. Talk about the way the defense played today. Um, you know, we, I just think we had a lot of guys step up today, man. We had a lot of guys out with injury. Like we had um, some of our most important guys, like Blake Lee, Kanish, 
um, other guys that were out as well. But um, I just give credit to the guys that stepped up today, man, because they really did their job. Um, even when they made some mistakes, they just got right back into it and just did their job and helped us get the win. So I give a lot of credit to those guys that stepped up today. What were you able to exploit personally to, to get yourself into the backfield as much as you did? Um, you know, I was just doing my job. Like, um, a lot of people on the D-line were just doing their job. We were just working as a cohesive unit. So um, at the end of the day, if I just do my job and just help out my brothers, we're gonna, we're gonna, we were looking to get the dub. That's what we got at the end of the day. So we were happy with the performance that we put out on the field today. Totally a team effort today. Special teams as well. Ruben pinning those guys deep all day, yep. including way down here, mm -hmm. right down near the end zone. Yes, sir. Was it a safety? I mean, I was hoping it was a safety. I was looking over thinking it was a safety. I probably asked about 500 people if it was a safety. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, the ref said that it wasn't. Uh, we had to go back out there, strap it up, and see what we could do. And um, down the line, we just kept getting stops, and we just kept um, staying locked in, and uh, we came out with the W, so we're happy with that. So, Talk, talk about some of the specific guys defensively that stepped up. The guys that came in today that started that weren't, don't normally play as much. Mm -hmm. Talk about those guys specifically and give them some kudos here. Yeah, so, I mean, even from day um, closer to earlier in the season, we have guys like uh, Deuce Geeter. Um, we have guys like Gavin who stepped up for Blake. Um, Kate Rooney came in for a niche. He's played a lot of football, so he knows what he's doing. And just guys like that just stepping up, um, making sure that they do their job. Um, stepping in the game and acting like they've been here before, you know, just playing bison defense. That's what Coach Bowers was harping on this whole week. So you go out there, you just give effort, 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 play bison defense, go out there and just be hard-nosed and we'll get W. So that's what we did today, and I give a lot of credit to those guys. So, um, yep. Hey, we love the way you guys played today. It's awesome to get the W, especially on the road. Good luck with Lehigh next week and wish you the best. Thank you so much.